Ron McGill here with a special edition of Zoo Academy. This is the first in a four part special series on extinct animals that Zoo Miami has temporarily been able to bring back to life. Dinosaurs. For a limited time, you'll be able to come to the zoo and meet face to face with some of the most iconic animals that roamed the earth millions of years ago. So for a sneak peek, here's what you'll be able to see in part one of Dinosaurs Live. <laughs> Quetzalcoatlus is the largest known flying animal to have ever lived. Standing up to 18 feet tall with a wingspan of 50 feet, this carnivorous flying dinosaur could weigh up to 300 pounds. With its powerful bill, it was believed to have fed on a wide variety of smaller dinosaurs during the Cretaceous period. Judging from its massive bill and carnivorous diet, today's large storks would be the most similar in habits to this North American dinosaur. Suchomimus translates to crocodile meat, which refers to its long, toothy crocodilian snout that was probably used to snap fish out of rivers and streams. Their snouts alone were a whopping four feet long. They could reach a height of 15 feet with a total length of 36 feet and could weigh close to 10,000 pounds. They were a carnivorous dinosaur from the Cretaceous period and were originally from Africa. Dilophosaurus is Greek for double-crested lizard and gets its name from the double crest on its head. There's some speculation that this Jurassic period dinosaur may have spit a toxic substance as a defense mechanism, similar to today's spitting cobras. The fact that the jaws of the Dilophosaurus are not as strong as other theropods of its size suggests that it may have been a scavenger that dined on carrion, which it wouldn't have to kill and would be easier to tear apart and eat. With a height of 11 feet and a length of 20 feet, they could weigh close to 1,000 pounds. Well, that does it for this episode of Zoo Academy. Join us for part two of Dinosaurs Live on the next Zoo Academy. Ooh.